Hi, hi everyone. How are you today? Let's see what time of day is today. Today is going to be a Friday. Awesome. So on this Friday, I'm feeling sort of mandala-ish. Um, so I'm going to do this one. This one I'm finding on my Pinterest page. Uh, a link to my Pinterest is, I believe, in my description box below. Um, as you guys already know, Hopefully, by now, you guys all realize that Pattern Dash Collections is no longer a viable website. So we have to do it by finding pins on the internet that are archived. So I'm going to do this strapple flower. It goes on a circular grid. Um, we're going to start with making a four petal. Now we could do this without the grid. And I probably will just do it without the grid. But we're going to make four petals, right? And then coming out from those four petals, we're just going to make that sort of a squarish. If we want to make it nice and even, we'll make the grid. Otherwise, we won't. I don't know. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. And then keep growing those petals outward. So you've got as many as you want. This one just had a three thing grid, but you can make more, right? And then in between, we then connect them here like that, right? And it looks like this when you're done. Or you can make variations however you feel like it. And then there's the sample right there, OK? so. We're going to take inspiration from that, come up with something on our own, turn on light so you get rid of all this shadow business, zoom in a little bit. I hope you guys can hear me OK. I got a new microphone. That other one was driving me absolutely nuts. It kept turning off in the middle of my drawings. So hopefully this one is a more robust unit and it has better battery life. And what's nice about it is the way it's mounted on my camera, I can actually see the battery button and it will tell me if it needs to be charged. Hopefully I'll get a warning before it just stops recording. Okay, shall we do a, a grid? Sure, why not? Okay, let's find the middle. a division here and a division here and then those ones these ones are not quite in the right spot because my paper isn't square when your paper isn't square you still can find the middle by making the X in the middle but your radius is going this way will not be equal so then you need to kind of Create yourself a guideline for finding more, a little bit more on the correct diagonal. Uh, can't see that line. I need this line to find my diagonal. So that's my going across, and then I can put my ruler here and then I can find at the 45 going across like that and as long as those are lining up straight across the 45 then that is a 45 degree angle there you go can you see that at all and I know on the camera this looks very blue it looks the same color as this my camera is compensating and this piece of paper is purple that is weird. You guys don't see purple. You see blue. Let me see if I put a white piece of paper on there so my camera can compensate. See? It's purple. If I can completely cover up the blue, or I zoom in all the way. Let me zoom in a little more. Oops, wrong direction. 
get rid of the blue so my camera stops compensating. See, it's purple. It is a purple piece of paper, not blue. But when I put it on the blue, my camera says, oh, look, there's two colors of blue. And I'm going to compensate and make it look blue. That's just really weird. Alrighty then. And then let's do this. And I'm going to go all the way out to my longest first. And I'll work my way inward and see how many how many stripes I decide I want to do. I'm not going to just do three. I might do four. Or I might do more. Who knows what I'm going to feel like here. Pencil's a little too high in the holder. Let me fix that. Come on, let loose. Not too much, just a little bit. Okay. And then inward a little bit more. And then inward a little bit more. Oops. We'll just turn the paper instead of the compass. That works too. And right down into the middle here. Oh, that's why my pencil was... No, it doesn't touch the paper. All right. Let's try again. Oh, I moved. Well, it's close enough. I'm not that accurate anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Something like that. See my my circles? Okay. Pen. Which which pen do I want to use today? Let's use number two. Oy. Come on. Let loose. The cap is on there hard today. Wow. Goodness sakes. Okay, so we're gonna do like that. Like that. I did six instead of eight. No, what did I do wrong? So it's supposed to be on a six grid and not an eight grid. do wrong. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I just did that just wrong. It was supposed to go every other one, so I was supposed to have one. Oh yeah, that's right, everyone. You know what? Apparently my brain is non-functional today. Don't mind me. It's right there. Right where it was supposed to be. It hasn't moved. It hasn't changed. It's just fine. I don't know what I'm thinking. Okay. That's good. Okay. So now we're going to go over like so. Alrighty, uh, and then the next one, we just keep going, right? These, out, these outward ones are going to be really big, but that's okay.
just like that. Did you see most of that? I hope so. Yeah, I think you did. Okay. Once again, I'm having issues with spacing. I just have troubles. Now, we're supposed to go like this, but I think I want to do a lotus petal type shape here. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. That's fun. So, how are we going to embellish? Let me look at the look at the uh, example on how she embellished. And we're going to do some of these things, but not everything. I do think I want to uh, emphasize. Do I want to emphasize this? Or do I want to emphasize these? Or do I want to do something completely different? I don't know. First, I'm going to just erase all my guidelines so that they do not distract me from my thought process. And that will give me a, my brain just a few minutes to decide what direction it wants to go. I think I like this sort of lotus petal shape. I think I want more of them. This looks like a cactus. You know that cactus? Um, I don't know what it's called. Hens and chicks or something? Kind of what it looks like to me. So if you're doing uh, CPT, this is a bracket shape, just one of the standard shapes. If you don't know what CPT is, there's a uh, video all about it somewhere in my channel. Uh, these I think I'm going to uh, also Aura. Aura. Do that same thing? No? Yes? No? No. But I do think I'm an aura on the inside. Of each of those petals. I like that.
that's cool. Um, now what do I want to do? I want to... Why? I don't know. Just... I'm just following my instincts. I want a spiral in here. Maybe in this corner. If I was being symmetrical, I'd do these spirals the other way on this side, but I would go them clockwise instead of counterclockwise, but it's not what I did on the first one, and I want to make a match. I feel like I want stripes in here. Why? I don't rightly know. And I might not want stripes in all of them. Just this middle one? I want stripes again. Do I want stripes again? But I think I want them diagonal, more diagonal from the middle, like a V.
wind is still blowing. Guys, the wind has been blowing for two weeks. You know, I'm I'm used to being windy. And most of the time when it's windy, like in blowing about 15 to 20, that's windy, but it's not so terrible. Um, we had that one day, I, I'm pretty sure I told you that uh, it was really windy, like super windy, gu gusting up to like 50, 60, something like that. That was really windy. Um, but it hasn't stopped for like two weeks and I get this horrible sinus headache that I can't really do anything about it. It's not congestion. I'm not, I'm not like, oh, have my allergy congestion like sometimes I get. It's just pressure. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever lived in a windy area where um, the pressure of the wind, like if you go into the bathroom and look in the toilet and the toilet water is, is actually sloshing from the uh, pressure of the wind going up and down, up and down, changing pressure, air pressure. Well, that's what goes on inside my sinuses, this air pressure change, and it just causes this horrible headache. I hate it. Absolutely hate it. Want another spiral right in here. I like that. I like what happened there. I'm going to do a couple things. First, I'm going to highlight. But anyways, I'm just tired of the wind. I posted that last night that I was tired of the wind. Just could do without for a little while. Getting ready to go on vacation. By the time you guys see this, I will already have been back for some time. But we are going to go on another cruise. Very excited. Um, I'm going to do some fun stuff. Oops. Great. I tried to sharpen my pencil and the end of the lid broke off in the thing. That's not good. Oh, I'm not even using the pencil I thought I was using. Well, that was... Okay, well, that's why the color is not the color I expected. Okay, be careful with this one. I'm using my watercolor pencil and not my regular pencil. Why this was still out and not put away, I don't know. Okay, put this pencil away. This has to go down here. Okay. That was the wrong pencil. I was supposed to use this one. Which, now I'm done. I don't know. Do I want any more white um, highlights here? Or do I want to make those highlights a different color? I think maybe... Maybe I'll make those highlights a, a light pinky, oh, pinky purple. Will that show? No, probably not. The pink will probably show. What other color will probably show? The coral. 
Coral will probably show. Let's try the coral. That works. So yeah, we will have come back from a, a cruise to Hawaii, 14 days, which is why I'm working really, really hard to get so many videos recorded in a short amount of time so that you guys don't miss any content while I am away. And like I said, those have already been put in into the queue. They're ready to go. So you'll get things while I'm gone. I'm just now trying to get things ready for when I come back that I don't have to jump right into it, but that I have some already prepared for you guys because I don't know with work, what's going to happen when I get back. I may be just completely overwhelmed. I just have a feeling. Anyway. Ah, that's good. So now where do I want to go? I want to do these on the sides here. think this is my super soft 6b pencil don't need very much graphite on the page for this to be very smudgy just going on the edges there I've just seen something in my design that now I can't unsee and I'm not going to say it. But some of you may have already seen it and so I'm going to have to do something about that. We will, we will get out our pen and make a different choice here. Maybe not. Maybe you guys have, have not seen what I see. Maybe it's just my imagination. Maybe I'll leave it. Because I really like how this looks. I don't want to change it. See what happens after I shade. Maybe it'll just kind of go away. Eh, maybe. I hope you guys watched the last video, my yellow hat video. If you didn't watch it yet, please go back and watch it. I had so much fun and I am preparing another hat to do another hat video, but I have to wait for it to dry. So meanwhile, I'm going to do a couple of drawings and then later this afternoon, come back and do more hat. What time is it? It's almost 11 o'clock. I have got to go to work later today so I can't be out here all day um, yeah I don't want to do that with this maybe this color it's a 
little too bright. I want a darker color. Let's go around the side. Maybe this wine kind of color. That's better. like that. Do I want to just do it all that color? I feel like it wants all that color. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Just a gentle, gentle coloring in. Nothing complex. And then maybe slightly different color right around the edge to keep it in the shadows. Or maybe I'm supposed to color it in first and then go back with the graphite. Maybe. Maybe I'm not supposed to change colors. We'll see what the little guy tells me to do next. What little guy? This little guy. My little artwork speaks to me. Does your art speak to you? Let me know in the comments. Does your art speak to you? Have you gotten to that point where your art speaks to you? Uh, don't be afraid of that. It, your art will start speaking to you. It'll tell you what it wants. It'll, if you step back, you'll you'll just know. Eh, that needs color, or that needs a spiral, or that needs a more contrast. It, it will just tell you. I think, I think it's, I think it's okay. It might need just a little bit of a darker color, but I think, I think maybe a dark purple. I need to sharpen that. That's not sharp. That's better. Maybe just a little dark purple right here at the edge. Okay. It's subtle, but I think it's what it needs. Just to bring that even further toward the back. Awesome. Okay. Perfect. I like it. Okay, what was the name of this pattern? I forget. I've already forgotten. Go here. Uh, Staple Flower. S T A. Oh, gosh. This pen. Why? All of a sudden, I can't get the lid off this pen. I don't know. S T A P P E L. Staple flower. And I'll sign it. And there we go. Not too long of a video. That's good. I have time for one more before I can maybe see if my hat is dry enough to paint on. All right, you guys go out and do something nice for someone today. Make the world a better place. I will see you on the next video on Monday. You guys have a blessed weekend. Just just hang out with your family. Have, have some good family time. That is the most important. Um, yeah, family time is very important. And um, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.